This one is problem 1.18. It says during a hurricane, some of the wires attached to a power pole are broken, and only two wires are still attached, and the loads are 2,500 newton and 2,000 newton here. There's a transformer which is in the YZ plane, and the weight of the transformer is 5,000 newton, and it is at a distance of one meter here and six meter from the ground. We have to neglect the weight of the pole. The pole is buried in the ground for a depth of two meters. Find the forces and moment which act on the buried section GA at the ground level G. So basically, we have to find out what are the reactions at this point G. So for this purpose, if we consider this whole body as single unit and draw the free body diagram of this, we will be able to understand what are the reactions, what are the moments coming at point G. So at point G, if we do not know anything, uh, we can say that there will be a general reaction force F, which is a vector in an unknown direction. Similarly, there will be a moment M here, which is again in an unknown direction. So now if I try to do the force balance and moment balance for this, if I do the force balance, I can say this force F, which is the reaction force, plus all the other forces that are there on the structure. So what are the forces? I see this 2500 Newton. Which direction this is in? This is parallel to your X direction. So this becomes 2500 Newtons in the I cap direction. The next force is this 2000 Newton here, which is going to be in the negative X direction. And the last one is the transformer force, which is going to be in the Z direction. But since it acting downwards, it will be minus 5000 Newtons K cap. So all these forces need to be summed up to zero. So from this, we can figure out the net force at ground G is going to be, if I add these two, it becomes 500. So minus 500 I cap and plus 5000 K cap Newtons. So this is the amount of force this structure or power pole is going to experience. Now we look at the moment balance. For the moment, we will have the reaction M plus moment because of 2500 Newton wire force plus moment because of 2000 Newton force and moment because of transformer force and all of this needs to be sum to zero. So for all of these individual moments, it's better for us to write in terms of vectors. So in general, for a moment, we always do R cross F. So if let's say for this 2500 Newton, if you are doing moment about point G, the R vector for this 2500 Newton would be that I move up in this direction and reach this point and then I take a left from here. So when I'm going up, I am moving in k cap direction, so I write it as 8 k cap. And then when I go left, I am going 1 meter in the minus y direction, which is minus 1 j cap. So this is R cross F force in this case is going to be along the x direction, so 2500 i cap. The second moment, m 2000 newtons. Again, in this case, the only difference in R would be that rather than going left, now we have to go to right. So 8k cap plus 1j cap. And now the force is in the negative x direction. So this becomes minus 2000 i cap. And the last one, which is 5000 newtons. So I start from G, go up to this point here, and then go right. So going up is 6k cap, and going right is plus 1j cap. And the force in this case is downwards. So it's going to be minus. 5000 k cap. Now for the cross product, we have uh, three known cross products. I cross J is K, J cross K is I, and K cross I is J. So we'll try to use these three while solving for these moments. So now let's start writing these M plus this one right here. So K cross I, K cross I coming from here is J cap. So 2500 times 8. So this is going to be 20,000 
j cap and then we have j cross i so i cross j is k that's why j cross i will be minus k so there's already a minus sign there it's going to be plus 2500 k cap the similarly this one right here k cross i is j so it's going to be minus 16000 j cap k cross i and then j cross i is going to be coming from here there's a minus sign there so it becomes plus so it's going to be 2000 k cap and the last one here k cross k is going to be zero and j cross k is going to give you i cap so minus 5000 i cap equals to zero so now if you combine everything m j cap is here and here so 20,000 minus 16,000 so it becomes plus 4,000 j cap these two will combine together so it's going to be 4,500 k cap and minus 5,000 i cap equals to 0 so if I rearrange move everything to the right hand side I'm going to get 5,000 i cap minus 4,000 j cap minus 4500 k and this is the moment and the unit for this is going to be newton meter so in terms of force this is the force experienced at g and this is the moment experienced at g